Alright, what's up guys? So I got this computer for 50 bucks. Um, a Cooler Master case. Um, the guy didn't know much else about it. Besides that, he said it was a second gen i5. It has this massive CPU heatsink fan. It has a 460 watt power supply, I assume because it's 460. And it has a wireless card. As you can see, hopefully this has like a 2500K i5, I don't know though. I, I got this with another computer for 50 also, and he didn't say, he said, I think he said that one of them doesn't work. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get this thing to work. Um, just, you know, clean up all the connections, make sure everything's correctly wired in and um yeah see if we can get this thing to work so first off i'm going to mess with the power supply which it's kind of hard for you guys to see but i'll adjust the camera All these cables definitely need some cable management. So for now, I'm just gonna kind of just get all of these like this. Get this one to be brought over, and then kind of just get them like this. Ravel them up. and just stuff them into this little tray down here just for now, just to get them out of my way. Cause I'm not plugging anything into graphics card or anything. The fan seems to be unplugged. So let's plug that in. Just kinda have to find it first. This massive CPU. I there we go. Here's a fan plug in right here. Plug that in. Um, little tiny sp speaker that's plugged in. USB ports, the power switch, the, all the stuff, the front panel. Everything's plugged in. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to. Let's just have. Let's just have a. So this has no onboard graphics. That is all right for right now. I'm just gonna see if it turns on. So yeah, I'll get back with you guys in just a second. All right, so we're gonna see what happens together. I haven't had this on plugged in yet. Okay, so I heard a little click. Let's see if we can get a little front view. All right, let's see what happens. So it turned on for a, a brief second. It turns off. Try again. See if the reset button works. So it turns off not even a second after booting up. Oh, there it goes. So gonna do it again. So it turns on for a second. That could honestly be a lot of things. But the good thing is that the power board spins all the fans and stuff. So I'm just going to say it's probably the 
power supply. Luckily I have a spare one which I might just throw in real quick to see if it works. And um, I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Alright so ignore my crappy angles but um, I have this power supply 430 watt TR2 thermal take and uh, yeah let's, let's get this bad boy on real quick. slide this over here and I'll go back to you guys and just all right here it goes guys we're gonna plug this in and if this turns on then I will put a little graphics card in it and see what happens but I'm no I can't really guarantee if this power supply works because I've never tested it I just got it in a good trade so I uh, kept it. So yeah, here goes nothing. So that was three beeps. And then it turned off. Let's see if it turns back on. Okay, it turns back on. Alright, I'm going to turn this off. Go to unplug it. I have a little stick of 8 gigs of RAM of Corsair XM S3. Just gonna plug that in real quick. Let's see if that cured the problem. Okay, it seems to be okay. All right, that's awesome. So I guess I'm gonna plug a. All right, never mind. Now it's making up one long beep then three other beeps. So I'm gonna turn this off and plug in a graphics card. And if that doesn't work, then I'll go look up the beeps online and see what they mean. So I'm just doing all this kind of live, so that you guys can all see how it, how it kind of works on diagnosing the computer. So this is just a cheap little card that I picked up. It's a GeForce 8400 GS 1GB DDR3. Cards hitting up. Okay, now that's plugged in. We'll get the power supply plugged in. And just turn it on and see what happens. Is the fan spinning? Yep. It's probably going to beep again. Just beeped once this time. Seems to be actually working, so I'm gonna plug in my monitor and plug it in and see what happens. So we just turned this back on and it's connected to the monitor. You can see my messy bed. B 
beeped once and see what happens. CPU or memory change. Uh, yep, we're just gonna click um, F2, just the default. I have a, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a I have a SATA cable, I have a solid state with Windows 10 on it. In case you're curious, this is a 840 EVO Samsung solid state drive. Let's get a little power cable. Just all plugged in. And she runs Windows. Let's just make sure she boots up. So it's, I don't know if it was that power supply or not, but that power supply works, so I know that now. And it's getting devices ready, and it booted up. Just, you know, I have to adjust the display resolution. But the $50 Cooler Master, whatever serious case this is, runs. Now I had this one that I got for 50 and I'll do that next episode.